Hey, to welcome back. We can sense you didn't mess us, but we're back anyway. Um, obviously, we went to the point. 150. And... <sighs> Seer Fair, kind of like with most other things compared to Six Flags, tend to be a little more confusing. Look at how confusing it is to get the drink bot... Get, get the straw in and out of it, because... <laughs> It's it's oval. It's a small. It's a smaller oval shape. Yeah. And the straw thingy is round. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, hey. So um, as we were driving to Cedar Point, after we had because, a very mediocre hotel breakfast. Yeah. Containing, um, yogurt. Yogurt. Muffin. No, no, that was the second. Oh, that night. was the second. The day. first day. We had those. We had Hostess donuts. Oh yeah, not even different kinds, just donuts. It was yep. like the it was the powdered sugar ones. Yep. I was like, I haven't and had a donut yogurt, in and a then while. you've got um, Nature Valley bars. Nature Valley granola bars. Yep. Oh, and one other thing, they didn't even give like a carton of milk or juice, juice or, or yep. water or anything. It was like, oh well. man, that's skimp. But, you know, times are times. I wonder if skimp is a swear word. No. Okay. Anyway. Eh, I already made it so my channel. So then we're driving to Cedar Point, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden there's construction, and we get redirected. Lane goes this way, and Lane goes that way. Along the way, um... So I'm, like, thinking, where are we going? Along the way, I'm... I'm noticing like things from in the I'm noticing things from in the loop that they've said like, hey, there's uh there's Chen Mac, there's the Thirsty Pony, there's the Kalahari, there's uh the Rainwater Park, Castaway Bay, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I we hey, the Fun House. Up, I thought we were ending up like in the back of the park or yeah. something, but when it we got took to, us right to the gate when we were doing the causeway, I was like, hey, Dick Kenzel, hey, the Fun House. Yep. And it took us right in. We got preferred parking, and we parked, wow, really close. Not as close as Indiana Beach, but still close. But, but there was, like, rows of handicap parking. We were, like, first row right behind it. And So, yeah, the temperature, the we have to kind of get into this. The temperature screener checks, um, not as good as Six Flags. And I don't know if, I don't know what, what about the, uh, compared to Dollywood. Compared to Dollywood, it was the exact same. Oh, okay. Six Flags, you Did go... Did you get screened the neck or the temple or the forehead for Six Flags? None. At Six Flags, you go through what oh, what is basically okay. like a metal it's, detector. It's a walk-through temperature check. Okay. Yeah, it's a... Like it checks what's at the airports. Yeah, it checks your temperature and it checks... And it's a bag check as well. Okay. So it's... And it makes things so much easier. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, maybe if Great America does Fright Fest or if... Well, Indiana Beach did that. Or if Missouri that. is allowed, then we'll then we can go. Indiana there. Beach and Cedar Point did that with the bag check. Yeah, but with the temperature things, they just like yeah, yeah. Well, my work does it that way too. Anyway, oh, you do you want to? You have to raise you, your bags. Do you want to say where you work? Or no, no, no. Okay, fine. We won't. I, I won't say what it is. I'll just say it involves. It has the letters C, I, and A in it. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Oops. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm not an undercover CIA Oh, do you agent. want to say where you really work, or do you want no. to say you're a CIA person? Nope. We'll just okay. leave it at that. Um, so we had bought, um, we had one, you know, with the weekly Buy one, get one free tickets. Right. We should do that. Should we do that this week? Yeah, why not? You could win the lifetime still. And then we did a meal parking ticket. Um, yeah, and then a, and a, a and we got the bottle sports bottle because we took in two bottles of um, unopened water. chilled water. Which boy, you needed water. Yeah. Oh wow, it was um, hot. It was hot here and it was hot there. Do you, I didn't feel as hot at Indiana Beach. No, well we were right on the lake more. Okay, but I mean I know they're right on Lake Erie, yeah. but still. They're on they're on a peninsula pretty much so yeah but uh when we got out of the park itself and into the parking lot it was a lot windier yeah so with but, all the rides and the buildings and the fences and that I guess I don't legend know. said something about him saying what do I want to see at Cedar Point one million trees 
Yeah. Um, oh boy. Yeah, that's a bit of an understatement. It needs about three million trees. Well, there were areas that had trees. And then there were but areas not a that lot of areas nothing. to sit down unless you wanted to sit on dirty stones and yeah or, or sit shade. in the shade yeah in the sun like you saw the steel vengeance queue line there was no trees in that wow you saw it right well yeah but once I got your and glasses no and shade. stuff then I went to the Maverick line yeah we just I just I you hightailed it to steel vengeance yeah I knew that. Okay, I knew I had a hunch you didn't want to ride Steel Vengeance that day. Right, and so then we or, did the we did the or bottle. for the or for recent history we did the bottle and then we took our time trying to walk. You gave me instructions, Gemini. No, it was spin, corks, corks, corkscrew, Gemini, Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Yeah, <clears throat> as long as I passed those, um, I was headed towards the back. Maybe there's another one that said Sky Ride. No, I don't think so. I, wrote, I only wrote three things down. Okay. Um, so the anyway, corkscrew was right, right there. It was over the queue line or over the pathway. So I figured yeah. you would have seen it. So yeah. Um, yeah, Steel Vengeance. Um, it is similar to what in the loop talked about, where the ride never opened on time, and especially for hotel guests, it didn't open. Like your perk as a hotel guest at Cedar Point is. You get to wait in line earlier than the general public. You don't get to ride. You just get to wait in line earlier. So like Maverick, Steel Vengeance, and some of the other rides. Probably Millennium Force as well. It was 10 o'clock wait in line. Also 10 o'clock wait in line for the pass mm -hmm. at a later time. And... So if you didn't ride it, so they only took a certain amount of people to, to ride it before the um, I'm trying to remember. 12 to 1 time frame. Drew, Drew probably wants to know this one. Um, who was the top Cedar Point employee? Um, was it, I think it was Rachel. Was, did I say Rachel earlier? Mm, not that I recall. You had three employees that were good to you. Yeah, there was there was a lady in the front that uh, looked up the address to Chet and Matt's. Yep. We'll get we to did, that later. We did order from there, take out. Um, well, delivery to the hotel. Then there was a... Then there was another... Then there was the girl... Ra I want to say her name was Rachel because... Maybe it was. It, that's the name I keep thinking of that... Okay. You know... You know, I had been liquid dieting and di dieting in general for about a week, week and a half before this. So if I wasn't going to fit on Seal Vengeance, I uh, probably would have cried. But he fit. Yay! Um, the first time I didn't, so I was like, okay, let me do the Justin method. Ugh. I did this method. And... They push down. Yeah, for fortunately they do they do push down and staple you in, so that's good. And staple you? That's a term. That's a term for like really pushing you in, oh, so you can wow. lock. That's okay. staple. I didn't know. Sorry. Um. So yeah. So I was able to fit, and I was like, well, you know, it's about ninety degrees and humid, and I have my hand towel. I was gonna before. Uh, Kay showed up and was like, hey, you want a cup of water? I was like, yes. I was I was originally thinking, well, it's it's a it's a five dollar hand towel. Riding Steel Vengeance is more important to me than this hand towel. I would have just thrown it away somewhere in a garbage can or something. There but weren't many you took drink it. places. Oh my god, that were open. Yeah. You had to go, I don't even know where it was. Are you are you talking about a certain place later that starts with the letter M? No. You had to go past Maverick and Steel Vengeance and go around to another spot, whatever, to get the drink cup filled. So they always gave you a cup. So what yeah. I did is I got like water... And then like a ginger ale or, or something. Or cream soda. Yeah. So it was like getting two for one. Except you got it with ice. 
And you know how I feel about soda with ice. That's Water okay. with ice I'm okay with. Soda with ice, yuck. That's right, Coaster Kitty. I said yuck regarding soda with ice. <laughs> but she looked anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, so I rode Steel Vengeance. Um, I rode in the last row. Woohoo! Um, I did... Would I say it's the best coaster in the world? <sighs> it's up there, right? I might say New Texas Giant is still my number one because... New Texas Giant, I got off that ride not knowing really what to expect, but just got off the ride kind of speechless and was like, I can't talk for a little bit right now. It was that great. Also, but RMC, you did say, did a fantastic job well, it was changing Mean Streak over yeah, to Steel Vengeance. They took off the square wheel, so that made the ride better. <laughs> Number one, yay! That's, a, that's another uh, theme, term. That's another theme park joke like uh, uh, when, uh, uh, jerk it around. like when there was like when they say uh when they say a roller coaster is rough they say eh, i forgot to take the square wheels off mm. um if i had i had one criticism that i kind of have with steel vengeance is that there are a lot of what should be like what would be awesome if it was like a straight if it was a straightforward drop was kind of like a this drop. So you kind of get more like pushed to the side than out of your seat. Than just straight down. But So it's more lateral. Mean, it's more lateral they than added, ejector. They added more than Mean Streak had, right? Yeah, they added like okay. a few hundred feet. And I they think, added inversions. And they added like another 40 feet to the lift. And if I recall correctly... They had a sign out in the front where it said Golden Ticket, Best New Ride of 2018 or 2019, one of those what? two years. What? Cedar Point advertising stuff from the Golden, that, that they've won from a Golden Ticket Award? I can't imagine them doing that, except all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Millennium Force especially. Mm. So would I say that it's the best coaster at Cedar Point? May yeah yeah I would, especially better than a certain red coaster that starts with M, which I thought was great, but this year is a flaming piece of junk. Okay. What I can say it. It's a flaming piece of junk. I wrote it this year, and it was a flaming That's piece of junk. That's the one I stood in line for you to get a pass. And that coaster is not Magnum. <laughs> I kind of or tease. Millennium. Millennium is blue, but it starts with an M. Yeah, I said a red coaster that well, starts with I an M. Well, I was thinking of the M. Anyway, blue is a different color than red. Yeah, I know. Okay, so after Steel Vengeance, um, I got my picture. Um, I was just, it was, it was. If you remember my Europa Park review or our Europa Park podcast, I was saying, like, Silver Star. I don't remember if it was good or not. I just remember being more happy and thanking... That you got on. Thanking in general that I was able to fit. I don't want to offend anybody. Okay. But, yeah, I, I, did tell, I did tell the lady in the queue line, you might have to push me in, and she said, sit on the other side. And I was like, okay. And with enough pushes, I was able to fit. So, whew! Um, is it's the best coaster at Cedar Point. It's probably maybe the best coaster in Ohio. I haven't been on Orion, so I can't, or Mystic Timber, so I can't verify. Um, Where are those Michigan adventures? Kings Island. Oh, Kings Island. Oh, Orion. That's why I said That's Ohio. Why. Yeah, so not Michigan. Sorry. I was thinking Cedar Fair. Okay. You know, we could go there and uh, we could go to Ohio in October. Why Ohio or Michigan? Ohio, oh. because we can go to that state well, and back. If, unless it gets on the list. Or Missouri for a few hours. Yeah, as long as it's less than 24. Mm hmm So we could stay at a hotel somewhere on Illinois border. <laughs> no, that's the part down by St. Louis of Illinois that is, like, way up there. Whatever. We can still visit that city or state. Okay. So anyway, um, 
after after that, uh, we did uh, the the train ride, the train mm -hmm. ride to Boneville. Yes. <clears throat> That's the term. <laughs> and what's weird is that it the is the gunshot and the fire. Yeah. And... What's weird is that it is the second train ride of this trip that had skeletons. Because Indiana oh, yeah. Beach also did. Yeah, that's true. Um, and even though, and I kind of played, I was pretty dumb in that I didn't listen to where the employees said where we could sit. Um, I kind of made sure that we sat in a front car or a front row so that way um, you could... Put my leg up. Yeah. Or, no, no, not put your leg up because they said that wasn't allowed. Put your things up, right? Yeah. Well, one person let me put my put your leg. shoes up. One person let me put my leg up, and the other person told me to put it down. But I didn't want to get sued. Thank you. Um, we were uh, well, fine. I made it work. Eh, we should be out of Ohio's jurisdiction, I guess. Okay, let's move on. After that, then we went into the Steel Vengeance Shop. I don't know what it's called, or even if it's called Steel Vengeance Shop, but it had a lot of Steel Vengeance stuff. Um, I found Cedar Point booty shorts. Mm -hmm. So I pulled a ranger and wore or held Just booty held shorts up, yeah. over that my shorts. Vengeance. No, it's. I thought it said it said Cedar Point. Oh, it said Cedar. It Point? said it said Cedar Point on the back. So I kind of like turned it around and, and I held it like so. And I got a Steel Vengeance magnet. Um, after that, then I rode Maverick and. Jeez, Maverick's a tur. Maverick is a turd. Now, they're not taking care of it, or it needs new trains, or they did it not, didn't get warmed up for the year yet. They did. They must have done zero maintenance on that ride, or maybe it's just because it's running every other row or something. Maybe it's the weight that's the reason, or I don't know. But I have a serious thought that okay, it runs like six trains. I think maybe they only rehabbed like two of them. And I got the bad train because I remember riding Maverick and not banging my head around. Mm. Did you? Do you remember banging your head around? When the first time I rode Maverick? The only time you rode Maverick. I think I was in a state of shock when I rode Maverick. Yeah, well, you would have been... I don't remember much except for the corkscrew over the lake or something. Excuse um, me. I think you remember the brake run. Uh. So anyway, um, Maverick, yeah, um, I usually don't bang, I usually don't have head banging on rides, like, um, aero loopers, um, I sh I'm usually okay with Pinfari loopers, uh, even then I'm kind of okay with, um, I think I'm just kind, I think I'm okay on maybe even, like, Manhattan Express or Big Apple Coast or whatever it's called now, um, but Maverick, I don't think I've ever been on a coaster that went from one of my favorite rides in the park to one of my least favorite rides in the park. Seriously, I was banging my head every every turn, every every uh, transition, even the launch. I banged my head on. Even the launch going up, I was banging my head on. So yeah, I got off that ride after waiting in line for like. 50 minutes, 40, 50 minutes, thinking like, wow, that was terrible. Um, Intamin has made new trains that they put on a uh, light speed at uh, Wonderland Eurasia. Just just look up a picture of it. It's essentially, um, it's essentially like Terron, um, but it can go upside down, but it only has lap bars. I feel that it, re it definitely needs those lap bars. Um, after that, then we, the anti-cars, the anti-cars in the back were closed, and according to someone, they've been closed all year. Snake River Falls is closed because of the pandemic. I'm not sure why, but apparently it is. Um, so I went in line and rode Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon, it's not a ride, it's an adventure, buddy. Um... I actually said that to the ride operator and they had no idea what I was talking about. So 
on your 150th, you have to remember taglines, right? Anyway, um, on that ride, uh, you didn't have to wear shoes, or you could take off your shoes and socks. Um, tip from me. Um, until they, re until they, um, dig up all of the asphalt and blacktop and replace that with concrete, kind of like what they did with the Gemini Midway, you know, take that area out of the 80s. Until that happens, or you just happen to visit on a day where it's only like 67 degrees and not 80 or 90, my suggestion is take off your shoes, keep your socks on in the queue line, because in the queue line, they... They don't exactly clean it, so you're going to, and I don't mean like glass and trash everywhere. I'm talking about like uh, roots and branches and like wood chips. I was having pain, I was getting pain on them uh, walking, and the queue line is also kind of goes really slow for obvious reasons. Um, but they, I will give them credit that they do have like this one splash in the queue line, which is awesome. Um, and spoiler alert, also, when you go down the exit ramp, they have some splashes as well. Um, let's see, what else? Um, but yeah, when you're on the ride, take off your socks, soak your feet in the rapids, in the rapids water. Look, if you can drink it, it, you should be able to put your feet in it, right? At least, that eh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> what are you getting? Are you going to be on the podcast again? Okay. Um, the reason why I say keep your socks in your pockets is not just because of the queue line, but also to get from the ex to get from the exit of the ride to where you put your shoes. That's pr it's probably what my what what okay, okay a good what hundred feet at least. Yeah, pure black top. Yeah, pure black is is a black top or asphalt. Well, it's the same thing. Okay. You should say asphalt now. I did. But yeah, there's like a good hundred feet of that that you're walking on. And yeah, you there's not any shade to cool to kind of keep keep your keep the blacktop cool. So you're kind of I was I wearing socks was like so that is my that is my advice. Um, Thunder Canyon, you do get wet, but y I like rides like uh, what was the ride called? Canyon River Rapids at Hershey Park. Legend's gonna scream. That he doesn't watch this. Um, the Rapids ride that used to be at Hershey Park, or the Rapids ride Thunder River at um. At Six Flags Over Georgia when I wrote it, or the the former Penguins Blizzard River at Kentucky Kingdom, now the Rapids River River Adventure or something, whatever it's called. Um, it does get you wet, but I feel it doesn't get you wet enough. Like, it maybe gets you 40% wet when it should probably get you... I like, I like rides like Popeye and Bluto's where it's like, you know what, just pour a bucket over my head and get me just drenched to the bone. That is what I want. When I wait in line for a Rapids ride, that is what I expect. Anything less, and essentially you wasted, t you wasted, you wasted um, possibilities, and you turned off effects. That, that's my, that's my two cents at least. Um, after that, then we, then we walk through the rest of Frontier Town. Um, we're non-alcoholics, so when we saw bars or beer stands, we were like, eh, that was probably something else. Um, oh, shout out to, uh, two people that I met in the Thunder Canyon queue line. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys were awesome. You guys were really cool. Thank you. Um, so we were going trying to find food that, uh, Kay could eat at that was, uh, that fit her allergy requirements, and after a while, when you're walking from Thunder Canyon to, uh, 
two coasters. Yeah, you're you're really sweating. You're losing. You're really sweating. You're getting exhausted. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little out of shape, so that might be it. But um, so uh. <clears throat> We we went to Coasters. She got a uh, lettuce a lettuce burger with fries. I think. Okay, are you gonna come back down? Because this part kind of involves you. Second, folks. Dead air. This is action hour. I'll, I'll, I'll stop. One second. Hey, we're back. Hi, I'm back. So, I missed the water part. The, that... That's no. You we talked we about already, the socks and everything. We already talked about oh, that. Oh, okay. Then where are we at now? Getting the burger, without the bun. Yeah. Okay. Talk about it. So it was just a normal burger. Um, I couldn't have With any the of the lettuce wrap. Yes, I used lettuce as the bun because I couldn't have the bun because, and then they also did, did they charge you extra? I hope not. No, and well, as it, all parks should. What? Why would they charge extra? I didn't get a bun. Uh, one one park that we've that we have season passes to did charge an extra dollar for a lettuce lettuce bun. No, I don't think they did. Yeah, they whatever, did. whatever. And I didn't have the French fries. You ate the fries for me because they were in soybean oil, which is honestly healthy or healthier. Um. Yeah. If you're not allergic to it. The burger was done well. I enjoyed it. It was a cheeseburger. And plus, we, we bought the parking, the meal, and you the said drink. That. So we had to get um, something with the meal. And I and figured since you weren't, since you were probably going to be skimped at Melt, you might as well eat. Yeah. And at Melt, too, they didn't, um, their french fries were in soybean oil also. Which is healthy. For some people. Okay, let's get to melt. Um, you were going to have what were you going to have? Uh, the mighty macaroni, I think. But they which were was like all a sold which was like a the day. which was like a ball of macaroni in on a sandwich, which <laughs> was delicious or would have been delicious. Would have been. But you went with what was your first they, choice before since the they macaroni. didn't since they ran out of macaroni that week, I think or yeah. yeah. They didn't have which any more she, until they got their shit. Which the waitress in. was nice enough to tell us after I ordered it. Yep. So instead I got the Monte Crisco. Which uh, was your first choice before people told you about the macaroni one? Well, when I looked at the only options that were available because they were limited, I figured I'd yeah. get that one. Um, but that's okay. I think you enjoyed it. That was the one with the powdered sugar on top? Yeah. It was deep fried in egg or something? No, it was or? just deep fried. Oh, okay. Or fried or something, I don't know. Uh, Legend and Hyde talked about Melt saying, like, you could eat, you could eat Melt and you would not need to eat, you would not need to eat hungry. for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, well, it was a pretty good size. Clearly those people have smaller stomachs than me. <laughs> because we had to have Chet and Matt's yet. Well, let's be honest. Hyde, Hyde could probably eat three Oreos, and that would fill him up for four days. Yeah. But, yeah, at Indiana Beach, you didn't do the fried Snickers, Twinkie, or Oreos Well, or I wouldn't whatever. have done the Twinkies or, or Oreos. You want, you were thinking about the Snickers, but we did the ice cream. Well, then. if we ever go back this year, which, again, we could. Yeah, you have a season pass. And I can get in as a senior. Mm-hmm. Ah. Um, so... And the people were okay there, so... So anyway, the melt sandwich, the melt sandwich was really good. 
and um oh it didn't one problem we had it wasn't on like a platter i don't think oh yeah this was the problem we had at melts yeah um i think this is a little weird okay i understand them not taking food vouchers because they're an independent company i understand that um i don't understand and i could even maybe understand them not filling soda in your souvenir bottle i don't understand why they don't give you free cups of water well she said she could bring one cup yeah i think that's a little so i had to go and isn't find... that illegal i had to go and find the closest place i went all the way to the ferris wheel that one was closed then I had to go over. I told to her the spot. Ferris wheel one. I had to go to another spot that was open, but yeah. And then you already had your food, and you were taking pictures, and and yeah. And I probably one little plastic <clears throat> cup of water. And I probably creeped some people out because I was taking pictures of them when I was I wasn't trying to. I was just taking pictures of the decorations behind them. Mm -hmm. It is Nerd Nirvana, but I would argue that the the roller coaster restaurant at Alton Towers might be a little bit cooler. Maybe because that showed like con that shows concept art, that shows commercials. Well, and didn't the food come to you like on a yeah. roller coaster? Yeah, but even even just looking just the decorations itself is mm. yeah. But I think you got and, some good pictures and you enjoyed yeah. it. Something else I found weird is that the the melt sign had halloween and christmas decorations by every letter which i thought was a little odd mm. yeah what does grilled cheese have to do with halloween and christmas i would think you know candy it's, corn or it's something. it's the grilled cheese that makes it that's why yeah <laughs> okay no you no, you guys i'm not going to send you guys a residual i'm not going to send you guys a check because i'm non-profit <laughs> No profit. <laughs> like I said, non-profit. So, okay, so then after uh, Mel... Then we went to um, the Pagoda gift shop, which, okay, not against you, purely against me. I sh We should have gone into that, like, Point Plaza shop because you know how at Disney you could write, like, your first visit or the first time you visited? They had that for free stickers. Mm. And they also had, like free postcards where you can make a postcard of you at cedar point again for its 150th i'm very up but i'm not upset i'm just disappointed that but, in the loop didn't mention but that i'm you, just disappointed you got the book yes i got the book yeah bigger book not the not the like three foot book because they were sold out rolling of that. through the years they were sold out of that at cedar point Maybe we just didn't go in the right store. No, she said that they were sold out. Um, oh, by the way, I found a typo in the book. Oh, yeah, you did. It says that Skyhawk opened in 2008 on one photo, when in reality it opened in 2006. And on the timeline in the front of the book, you said it showed it was 2006. Mm -hmm. But where the picture was, they put in the wrong yep. year. Um, so we left the park probably at like, what, three, four yeah, it was hot. Oh, wait. Hot. No, we had to find... We had to find the legend. We had to find the... The brick. Oh, my God. Zebra landscape. Ranger's booty shorts in the loop. Yep. But you also found the other Coaster Crew. I've, yeah, I found a Coaster Crew shirt, or a Coaster Crew one, and I found a Magnum XL 200 one. Yeah. And, and we didn't know that, Hyde, you had one, so I apologize. We'll look next time. Give us a hint where it is. Well, melt. There is quite a few. Yeah, and they're not like one and then blank and then another brick. It's like one and then three blanks and then another well, brick. But in some spots, it's like where they started first. It was like brick, 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 a row half empty, then brick, brick, row half empty, brick, empty, brick, empty. Yeah. Did they maybe undersell? Did some of them maybe not sell? I don't know because they had more areas. Yeah. I think also in also this will be this might make it kind of intrigued a little bit um one of the bricks was already chipped yeah one of the bricks that someone had already like done something there it was already chipped and someone actually like I guess like keyed 
or something, or like put a knife or something. I'd like put in like, I don't know, uh, Jill Taylor, uh, Jill Taylor loves Steve Gutenberg or something. I don't know. Just and it was an empty brick that they carved it in. Yeah, right? yeah. And I did ask a few employees, like, do you have a directory of like the bricks? And they're like, no. <laughs> like, because <gasps> we probably so, went through. You probably went through two or three times. I was doing once, and I kept thinking after watching Legend speak about it. I'm like. God, I think it's in this this part or whatever. So I had to rewatch the video when I was there. I think this is the only time I've watched a you I've watched an a video YouTube video in a theme park. I yeah. think that's the only time. Well, and then you were able to find it right. Yeah, away. I was like, okay, I know where it is. Yep. So we found <clears throat> it. Um, and then I and then when we found it, took a picture of it, obviously. Um, and then I showed her. I showed Kay that Toffs was at Cedar Point. Mm -hmm. and I think you said, like, why don't we just get Toffs here? And I was like, no. Nope. We have to go to the dairy. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little bit out after of the way. That, after that, we left, and we, we saw Thirsty Pony, and I was like, hey, Thirsty Pony, that's the place where Cedar Point employees hang out. And I said and I said that, and, and Chet we and were, Matt's... And we were trying to look where Chet and Matt's was we did, on we the did way back. We did finally see it. Well, we saw it going, but I didn't see it on the way back. No, we saw. I saw. Well, we saw, I saw a sign a for sign, it, like, but it said like a couple blocks, and then yeah. on the oh, maybe it was on the right, and I was looking on yeah. the left. Yeah, it was know. on the left side. Okay, well, we just thought it was easier to just do takeout delivery to the or, hotel. Yeah, delivery. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, when I was I, a little cold when we got it, but when I talked about. Um, Thirsty Pony and Chet and Matt's being like the place for Cedar Point employees where they hang out. The employee was like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we had a gluten-free spinach, garlic, mushroom. Spinach, mushroom. Sausage. Yeah. And wings. Uh, both pretty dry. Yeah. I, would I think say it was the, because they were cold. I The mellow mushroom pizza was better. Yeah. Um, so that almost wraps it up that night. But there's one more thing. We ended up going to what Drew calls the Toffs local store. Yep. When in reality it's the Toffs dairy. Yep. Um, he's, in how In The Loop talked about it, they were like, uh, Toffs is still at Cedar Point, but if you want really good ice cream, you go to the Toffs local store in Sandusky. It's like half the price, and it's so good. And oh, wow. Well, the kid size, kid, junior, and adult, I think it was. The kid size was like what? This three, tall? Three scoops. Yeah. So your cone is about this big, and then you put one scoop in and then two scoops on top. Yeah. And even then got when... got the dish. <laughs> I wasn't and, doing the cone. But yeah, even the dish, she was putting like scoop after scoop after scoop, and I was like... Is that? Are you gonna put in more? She was like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "Okay." Well, and then your dad was after two scoops. He's like, "Okay," and he's like, uh, "His name is Big Dude." Big Dude. Um, I'm not gonna like, edit that. He's like, "But you get one more scoop," and he goes, "Really?" Okay. So the kids is three scoops. So mm -hmm. wow. And. Uh, so I got the pine, the orange pineapple or something, mm -hmm. something like that, or orange. That was in a yeah. dish, and that had like five scoops or something. Yeah, and it. then I got the Val Raven cone. Yeah, in a cone. Did you get the sugar or the cake cone? Uh, I think I got the sugar. Oh, you'd have to look at your picture with the cow. Yeah. And they were very nice there, very nice. But the prob there were two problems. One was that. Uh, the cow was kind of gated. Fenced off, yeah. So I was like, can you guys open it so I can take a picture, so I can have a picture with the cow? I was thinking they were going to be like, no. But they were like, yeah, sure. I was like, oh, okay, cool. They weren't busy yet, so maybe that's why. We went early in the morning. And the other thing was, uh, I had left, I had made a comment to them like, man, I wish you guys had a gluten, I wish you guys had like a gluten-free flavor. They were, she was like, we do. I was like, 
I oh. think it was I think it was like four flavors, but one of them being coffee. Yeah, coffee she mentioned first, and then she mentioned a dark cherry. So I'm like, oh, that's good enough. Ch no, I thought you got cherry Garcia. Well, it's dark cherry Garcia. Yeah. So when it was revealed that they had a gluten-free flavor, or they had gluten-free flavors, I was like, uh, Kay, you want some ice cream? <laughs> yep. Instead of just watching you guys eat. And in case you're wondering, I did get a, I did get pictures with the cow. Yep. Because you have to, right? I guess. I didn't, but you did. Hi, uh, check, check your DMs, and you can have uh, Toffs as well. Mm-hmm. No offense. I don't know if that's an, I don't know if I'll I should be talking. Lactaid. Um, that's what I was. That's what I DM'd him, but I didn't want his information to Sir be Ronnie out there. would have to take Lactaid. Her name is JJ. <clears throat> okay. You've been on this podcast. You should know these names. I remember. <laughs> JJ. Okay. 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 So dynamite. Then, so you then know? we had tops and. Then we, we took a lot of back drove. roads. Took a lot of back roads with the GPS to get to the Ohio Turnpike. We need to update so, her. Yes. Or, yeah, we need to update her. Yep. Uh, and then I was like, "Hey, on the plus side, I haven't, I haven't fallen asleep uh, while someone's been driving." And then <sighs> <laughs> the ice cream knocked you out. <laughs> yeah, the two ice creams. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we. We didn't, we stopped somewhere, like, because I was thinking, like, hey, you know, this might be a good place to eat at, some, like, Mexican, I thought it was a Mexican food place because its name was, like, Lou's or something, Louis, Lou's, and it was saying, like, tacos, three for two bucks or something, I was like, hey, maybe, yeah. so I went in, uh, they did have gluten-free options if yes. you wanted to, and they did have a uh, cheesesteak in case... <sighs> In case the big guy wanted to, but it was like, no. And I was like, come on, they have options you can have. And you're like, you order for yourself. Yeah. I was tired and I wasn't hungry. So, um, I think I had like three hot dogs. They were like, or two or three hot dogs. What are you talking about? The gas station place. You didn't have hot dogs. Yeah, I did. I had hot dogs and poutine. Oh, okay. And a, and a I Pepsi. remember the poutine. I didn't remember it was three hot dogs. Okay. Maybe whatever. it was two hot dogs. The reason why is because you I was wanted like, the chili on it. I think. Well, you no. Said. Well, not only that, but I'm used to oh. us doing trips where we leave on Friday, come back Sunday, so you can prepare for your job that may or may not start with a C, I, and A in it. So, um. <sighs> so I was thinking like Sunday. I was like, huh, man. Too bad it's not Tuesday. Wait, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'll have the uh, two hot dogs, fries, and... Or two chili dogs, fries, and a soda for like four four bucks. Yeah. And I was like, could I upgrade the fries to poutine? And they were like, sure, for an extra like two bucks. And I was like, okay. And again, I asked you several times, like, you sure you don't want any? I did not want any. Because you ate guac. I had chips and guac, and I had a beef jerky, and I had something else. I had already ridden steel. I didn't vengeance, know that we so were stopping. I had I already know, ridden so steel. I... I had already ridden steel vengeance, so I didn't care about what I ate the rest of the well, trip. Well, when we stopped at the wayside, I went into the travel store. I think I went into the seven or the place the eleven seven. Seven eleven. Eleven seven. Whatever. Um, then we went, then a uh, big guy wanted to go grocery shopping, and then we went, uh, and then we went to a sit-down place. Mm-hmm. I had, uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos, Cheeto Puffs. Mm-hmm. And then JJ decided to lock the front door. Both locks. So we were kind of SOL. <laughs> Fortunately... <laughs> Fortunately, uh, we were able to get in finally, and then... A long day it made. Yeah, I was pretty... I was pretty exhausted. Exhausted, yeah. I'm still on vacation mode. But anyway, 
Anyway, uh, I'm assuming I can say this because it's public domain. Helen Blitz Vengeance, everybody. <laughs> Take care now. Uh, Cedar Point for life. Really? Sure, why not? Okay.